Sergio Perez will remain alongside Max Verstappen for 2022 after Red Bull confirmed a new contract for the Mexican driver. The 31-year-old's new contract was announced at the Belgian Grand Prix on Friday, confirming neither Alex Albon nor Pierre Gasly would be re-promoted to the seat. But is Perez the right man for Red Bull? Perez joined Red Bull as Verstappen's third teammate in just three years, following Daniel Ricciardo's shock departure in 2018. Since the Aussies' exit, Red Bull has been looking for a driver who can close in on Verstappen's pace and consistently score high points. Pierre Gasly managed half a season with the team before being axed by Helmut Marko. His successor, Alex Albon, performed slightly better having a decent end to the 2019 season, before struggling in 2020. Meanwhile, Perez in the racing point was in superb form, finishing fourth in the World Drivers' Championship and scoring in all but two of the Grand Prix he competed in. With Red Bull uninterested in keeping Albon or promoting Gasly again, and Perez being one of the few permanent and available drivers in Formula 1, it was no surprise to see the team pick up the Mexican. As is the case for most racing drivers, at first it can be hard to sync with the team and the car. This was certainly the case for Perez, who described his first Grand Prix weekend in the RB16B as difficult after a Q2 exit in qualifying. Things initially picked up for Perez in Imola as he made amends for Bahrain by out-qualifying Verstappen to secure his best ever grid slot. But an incident-filled race on Sunday saw Perez finish 11th. Over the next nine races, Perez finished behind Verstappen in qualifying, with an average difference in Q3 of 0.4635 seconds, which is huge. But it's important to compare this figure to the likes of Verstappen's previous teammates. The average difference between Verstappen and Albon was 0.701 seconds, and between Verstappen and Gasly, it was 0.602 seconds, so Perez is performing considerably better than his predecessors. Perez is also largely more consistent and reliable than Albon or Gasly. Over 11 races, Perez has secured the team 104 points, compared to Albon's 64 points and Gasly's 55 points over the same number of Grand Prix. Therefore, when it came to selecting a driver for 2022, it was no surprise to see Perez favoured over Gasly and Albon. Red Bull's alternatives included Alfa Tari's Yuki Tsunoda and Formula 2 drivers Jay Handaruvala, Liam Lawson and Yuri Vips but none are particularly desirable choices. Sonoda has underperformed in his debut season in Formula 1, while Daruvala, Lawson and Vips are a few seasons off from making the jump to Formula 1. Similarly, Red Bull's ambitions are most in line with Perez's ability. They want their second driver to be close behind Verstappen and to be in a position to score podiums and take wins when the opportunity presents itself. Arguably, Perez has met all these requirements, at least once this season. Perez is also regarded as a brilliant development driver, which will be beneficial given the new rules coming into play for 2022. What are your thoughts on Perez's contract extension? Do you think Red Bull has made the right choice? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the future. There's also a join button allowing you to become a member and gain some exclusive perks. Until next time!